Hello everyone and I hope you're doing very well. So you've asked me to do a video covering the stick to trimmer function in DCS world. So let's get it done. So we're in the SU27 at the moment. If we go to adjust controls, we'll see. Go to search, type in trim. So we've got our normal, what I would call our normal trim controls. Can trim nose up, nose down, left wing down, right wing down, and rudder and the trim reset back to neutral. And we've also got this one, stick to trimmer control mode. Now this is something I've not actually noticed before. I don't know if it's new or if I've just not noticed it. It's very possible I just haven't seen it. It is relevant to the SU27, the SU33, and the J11A, as they're all very similar aircraft. I haven't noticed it in any others. That's not to say that it doesn't exist. Uh, something very similar exists in the KA50, I know, but I haven't checked everyone out. So these here are what I would call the normal trim commands. And here is the stick to trimmer command. Now, as standard, it does not have a keyboard or a, a bind to it. So I've just bound the Q button to it just for easy, so it's easy for me to remember. Now, if we look at the control display down here, we can see the big circle is showing you where my actual physical joystick, my plastic joystick is. And the small circle is showing where my trim it is now if you don't know what a trimmer is then this is pointless watching this video you need to go and watch my video on what is a trimmer or what is aircraft trim so you can go and watch that but otherwise the small circle there is the trim so let's look at trimming uh, first of all in fact let me unpause I haven't got my track AR set on at the moment. I don't really need it. So first I'll just move the joystick about and you can see the big circle moves about and it flies the aeroplane as you know next we're going to use the trim the normal trim so trim forward, trim back, like that. And you can see that moves the small circle and the big circle. And that is because in the SU-27, the trim actually works by moving the stick. Some aircraft have purely electronic trim and that works differently. But this, in this, it's an analog system that moves the stick. So that's all fine. You, all, you probably know that by now. But there is a second method of adjusting, setting the trim. We're just going to look at elevation. Uh, this works in roll as well. But just to keep things simple, we'll just look at elevation. And that is to use the stick to trimmer function. And that means that we can move the trimmer and the stick with the control stick rather than the trimmer buttons, trimmer command. So we're going to unpause. We're going to uh, let me just uh, level out our current trim. So everything's set more or less neutral there. Now we're going to press and hold the Q key is for me. And I'm going to move my joystick, my plastic joystick about rather than pressing the trimming, trimming buttons. And you can see it now adjusts the trimmer. Now, as it happens, it adjusts the stick as well for the reasons that we said before. It's an analog trim system, this aircraft, that actually adjusts the physical stick. And so I'm moving my actual joystick about rather than the trim. It's a bit weird and takes a while to get used to. Uh, but once you get used to it, it's pretty cool. Just realize I'm stalling. Sorry. Burn is on. Yeah, it takes a little while to get used to. And I'm going to let go of the stick now and let go of the Q button. And you can see I've trimmed it, well, like that, basically. And I'm going to try and trim it back in neutral. Again, it's a little bit weird. <laughs> try and get that right. In fact, I'm finding it almost impossible. We're just not used to trimming like this with the actual moving the stick. It's really hard. Okay, that might be it there. Uh, okay, I just can't do it. I'm not good enough at it. So I'm just going to use my normal binary trim commands just to retrim, level and neutral, something like that. And that's it. Um, so why would you want to do that? Well, it allows you, when you're doing your trimming, much more accuracy and detail of movement. Again, it takes a while to get used to. I couldn't really do it very well there. But um, it gives you much more accuracy of trimming neutral or trimming into a turn or whatever you want to trim than pressing the binary up, down, left or right trim buttons. Uh, don't think it allows you to trim the rudder. Uh, it might do. Let me just have a quick go. Uh, don't think so. I think it's just uh, ailerons and the elevators. Anyway, 
that's what it is. So it takes a little while get you getting used to. So what I'd suggest is pressing left, right control and uh, return button. So you, you get this display up here. And then you can have a play for yourself. And see exactly what I mean. And it's just for, like I said, adding, adding more resolution and detail for the ability to trim. Um, nothing really more to add than that. Hope that helps and see you later.